Today, I want to talk about flat frames because the C-Star app has released a new update that includes the ability to take flat frames. And so it's a good time to talk about what these are and why we want them. And then we will cover how to make them work with your C-Star. So flat frames, they are special photos taken that help clean up your final space pictures. They show how light falls unevenly on your camera sensor or your telescope in the case of the Sea star It's like smudges or dust spots or dark corners, which are called vignetting. Uh, think of it like this. If your camera lens has a tiny smudge, every picture you take will have a little shadow there. Flat frames help the computer see those problems and remove them from your final image. Astrophotographers use flat frames to remove dust and smudge images. The flat frames reveal small dust particles on your camera lens or your sensor. It fixes uneven lighting. And they correct the dark edges that naturally happen with some telescope setups. Um, after applying flat frames, the final space picture or photo looks smoother and cleaner and more professional. So how do you take one? Well, you usually take a flat frame by putting a white t-shirt or diffuser over your telescope. You point it at a bright or even light um, sky or a light panel. You take a few short exposure images, um, just bright enough to see the unevenness. And flat frames are like giving your space photo a gentle cleanup before showing it to the world. They make sure you're showing stars and galaxies, not dust bunnies or camera flaws. And so the Sea Star has come out with a feature in the app that allows us to take those images and store them in the Sea Star so that when we are taking images, it will use those flats and clean up our images for us. And so it's pretty seamless once you get those flat frames imaged. And we're going to cover how we do that with the C-Star app update. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to turn on my C-Star and then open the app and see if it does the app update. And it it gives me a little warning thing here, not warning, but just a notification that there's an update to the firmware. And then I just click now and it does its thing and it does the update all by itself. If it doesn't do that, we have done a video on a previous update on how to do that by going to the app store, locating your app, and then you can click update on that app. And so if it doesn't do it automatically, refer to um, that video or just go to your app store and click on my apps and then scroll down until you find the C Star app and click on that. And then it will prompt you to look for an update. Um, while I was talking, I did hear the C Star, which is turned on, uh, make a little announcement that oh an update is happening and so you will hear the actual C star do that if you had the volume turned up on your C star and so hopefully everybody's is automatic but we know that that isn't always the case some people don't have their apps automatically updating and and it's no problem you can still get the update just go to the, your app store the google play store or the app store if you're iOS and then click on my apps, scroll down and find the C star one and click on that app. And then it should prompt you and let you do the update that way. So this firmware, I'm about 37% done at this point. And so it's, it's going to take just probably a couple minutes to do the update. And I'll bring you back when it's closer to 100% so you don't have to just listen to me rambling on. Okay, I brought you back. It's at about 95%. Um, I, those last few percentages seem to go quicker sometimes. So I brought you back just in time. 
as soon as it's at 99%, I heard my C star say that it was complete. And then I get this little announcement on my app that the update was successful. And then I click the little button down here that says finish. And so now the, uh, the app has been updated. And so then we can go down into the, this is my first time using it. So we're gonna see it together. And then we go to image calibration. And now we have the flat shoot option here. And then that is where we're going to take those flat photos. And so um, I am currently set up indoors and I need to get it set up outdoors. Um, I could probably read that fine print if I had younger eyes, but I'll have to get a magnifying glass or use my tablet to read what that actually says. And there's going to be a tutorial coming up next about how to do it. And we're going to do it together. Okay, all you people with old eyes like mine that can't read it, I've blown it up and you can thank me in the comments. Uh, it says, if the built-in flat field file cannot meet the calibration requirements, you can control C-Star lenses at the uniform light source and click the shoot button and the system will automatically take and save the flat field file. Now, from what I understand, it saves that file in the um, computer code of the C-Star. So it's not taking an image that saves in the My Album or anything. It's saving it in the code of the C-Star inner workings. And so you don't have to worry about uh, removing files from your C-Star and those being deleted off of the C-Star. So that's um, what my understanding is, is that it, it takes those images and saves them in the C-Star's inner workings. And so those are going to be there always in the future because what those flats are doing is taking an image of what your lens flaws may be. And so it's um, going to save those specific to each C star. So we can't just take a flat frame, take that file and give it to somebody else because their lenses may have different flaws than yours. And so that's my understanding. And so now we're going to take it outside where we have a uniform light source and we are going to take those flat frames. This picture is of my C star. It's set up outside so I can do the shooting of the flat frames. Um, but you can see why we need to do this. Um, I've always been very mindful to keep my lens um, unencumbered so I don't touch it. I'm careful when I put the solar lens on. But if you can look at this picture, when I opened it in the daylight, I can see all the dust and things that have accumulated on just this one lens. There are other lenses in the C-Star that I can't see from this angle, but um, this is the one that is exposed to the outside element. So obviously I need to do another video about cleaning the lens, and maybe that will be an upcoming video here soon. But um, if you're going to shoot your flat frames, and I'm going to shoot it just as my lens is right now, once I clean it, I would want to shoot those again because the, the dust particles and things would change and be different. But you can see in this image how quickly dust accumulates on these lenses, even when you're very careful. So. Um, Cleaning the lens is probably a future video that I'm going to do pretty soon. So I have my C-Star set up outside on my deck. And I also have handy a white cloth. This happens to be a tea towel that is white. And it's ready to cover my C-Star to do this image taking for the flats. Another option is to use a blank piece of paper. Um, it's an A4 thickness, and to be honest, I just took mine out of my printer, and I'm not sure if it's an A4 or not, but I wasn't too worried about it because I plan on using the cloth 
version just because it's easier to have a cloth sit on my sea star than a piece of paper that could blow off or get moved or doesn't fit snugly around the lens. So I'm going to choose to use the cloth method, um, but you could use an A4 um, depth of white paper. If you're trying to use the paper method, use a flat piece of paper, not one like this. If I hold this one up to the light, you can see there's writing on the other side and that would affect the light that's coming through and hitting that sensor. So you don't want folds in it like this paper has or to be able to see anything through it. So just use a blank piece of paper if you're gonna do the paper method. All right, so I'm recording this on my phone while I'm doing it with the C star and I'm doing, I click shoot and then it, it gives me all that explanation and tutorial and I am clicking to have it do its thing. So now it's starting to try its first shoot and quickly here you'll see it failed. And I didn't know exactly why. I thought I'd follow the directions. And so I'm going to try it a time or two again here. Um, I'm not, I'm trying to figure out what I did differently. The only thing I can figure is the lighting is a little bit off. Um, it has to be a certain brightness so that it can sense that through the sensors. And so I'm going back and forth moving making the towel thinner and thicker and then i'm going and taking a picture and i think this is why it was off is we have clouds and so i don't think i'm getting a consistent enough light into the sensor so i am going to take it all back in and i'm going to try the white light from a screen device method so that's my plan. So it did take me a little bit to figure out how to do this indoors with a display of a device because I'm recording with my iPhone. And then luckily I do use a different device because it has a bigger screen. So I'm going to try and make that one white. And what I had to do is I went into the settings of my tablet and I, this is a picture of what the settings look like on mine. Yours was probably something similar to this. And then I have to change the brightness level. So the brightness level needs to be at 80%. And I think that's why I was having trouble outside is because I can't control the level of brightness. So it's either too bright or too dim. I have no control over that. And I can try folding the white sheet different depths, but I really just don't know where it's at. And so maybe this will be an easier method for me is to make a white screen that I can just hold over the screen of the C star while it's doing its imaging for the flats. And so I set it to 80% on the brightness level. Then what I did is I just opened my browser. In my case, I'm using Google. So I just Googled pure white and then it brought up these options. And then I just clicked on one of them and I was able to enlarge it to fill the screen or at least big enough to go over the lens of the C-Star. Then on the C-Star, I do all the same steps to get it to the point of taking those flats images and I did tilt the lens up a little bit just so it was easier to hold if I tilted it straight up and down so I could sit the device on it the screen would go black on me while it was imaging and I couldn't get it to stop doing that because it was laying flat so I just tilted the lens a little bit more and then just held the screen there while it did it it took about maybe 20 seconds or so not long at all and then um, I was able to shoot those images in the C-Star app. So I've got it, the device, my tablet device uh, with a white screen over the lens. 
And then I did the sh flat shooting and it only takes a few seconds. I had to do it again because I moved. <laughs> so I'm doing the flat shooting and then it comes up with flat shooting succeeded. And so this was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be because I was trying to do it outdoors. Once I set my tablet to the 80%, uh, the first time I tried it, I didn't have it at 80% and it failed. I, I was getting a little frustrated because I got a lot of fails. And But then once I figured it out, I have to change the brightness of the device to 80%, get it on a white screen. And again, all I did to do that is I opened my browser on my tablet and Googled pure white, and then it brought up these options, and I just clicked on one, which made a bright white screen, and then I had it already set to the 80% brightness, and so I just held that in front of the lens when it was doing the shooting, and then it was able to succeed, and so it took a little bit more finesse than I, I expected in the beginning. I thought just throwing a cloth over it and plopping it outside would be enough, but that that was futile and a, a little frustrating. And so doing the device option was easier for me. Um, maybe it'll work the very first time for you, but it didn't for me. So this is how I fixed it is with another device. Anyway, that's shooting the flats. And I think in the future, we'll do some experimenting. Uh, now that the flats are saved in my C-Star, I probably won't be able to turn them off, so I, I won't be able to do experiments with befores and afters and that kind of thing, but maybe we'll figure out some good things to do. I do, with this update also, they released the 60 second exposure rate, and we definitely will do some experimenting with that and see how that works. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Hope you're enjoying the update. Hopefully it will make vast improvements in our images moving forward and i'm looking forward to that and i don't have clear skies here but i am wishing that you do where you're at thanks for watching